journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Hey, boys and girls. It's not often that when we're live, we get to see something happening that's exciting. And we're looking at December soybean oil, one of my favorite things to trade in the whole world. If you'll notice here, just about five minutes ago, we just hit the exact 3861% retracement. This is a perfect Gartley. That's A, B, C, D. Let's just draw it in so you folks. How about we start from the beginning? Here's your A, B, C, D leg right there. There's A, B, and there's C, D, and it measures to 51. The low today has been 43. If we measure what the 61% retracement is off of this low, that comes in right where it just hit, right there at 43, 44. So if you buy here, you only got to risk about, oh, say, 40 cents, which would take your stop down to uh, 30, uh, see, 40 cents. No, would not even that much. Let's say. 20 cents, 30 cents, yeah, your stop would be right here at 48.20, so you'd be risking around $200. This move right here was $1,400, so you've got a really good chance here on, a, on the type of move that we like to see. A, B, C, Ds do not work all the time, as we know, but they do work some of the time. There was the high. Now it's looking at this pattern right here. This is exactly what you should be looking for. Now, we have our guest today, it's Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. He'll be our guest, but we want to run through some things that are happening because there's some really important things that we were looking for to happen, and they have happened. So what we're going to do is take a look at them. First, first of all, we'll get this out of the way. Now, this is the, the one that didn't work. We thought this 382 was going to hold in the S&P, and it didn't. So you, we took a 20-point uh, 20, 20 loss in that. There's nothing else. So we have to wait now. We didn't quite make the 786. We're very close to it. The NASDAQ has went above the 786 by a little bit, but the uh, Russell uh, 2000 uh, has, has just barely made uh, the 50%. So there's a lot of things going on. So first of all, we'll do one at a time. Do the trades that we have on or we did have on, we had this trade on, which we bought the gold, ah, son of a gun, let me get this down here, doing one thing at a time. Well, I can do it here on this hourly chart. We know the big A, B, C, D pattern occurred here. This is where our buy point was at 116.29. The market rallied all the way up to 118.15 today. And the first thing I did when I saw this level right here, I said to the folks, move your stop to break even to make sure that you lock in $8,000 profit and that was so far the right thing to do because it did come down and take us out and it's gone a little bit lower but that was a 382 in a bear market you know so we think that's the bottom but we don't know for sure looking at this on the daily it makes a little bit suspect you see because maybe it's going to go down a little bit more all we could do was rally to the 382 of this move right here we were expecting to see at least a powerful move off of here that has not happened yet so the next step that we'll do is we're going to watch this very closely over the next couple of hours because there's a possibility as we look at this and start the new numbers we want to see what the retracements are going to be off this whole thing because there's your see so far all we've done is pulled down to a 382 retracement, which still could be very, very bullish. But my assumption was because of that, I didn't want to risk losing a lot of money. And so, I, well, first of all, my main reason was we just lost uh, a thousand bucks in the S and P due to the fact that there was a you know terrible uh, earthquake over in Taiwan. And yesterday in the news, the pundits were saying this is the end of the microwave era. The Taiwan semiconductor industry is over, which is 90% of the world's supply and everything. And the stock market immediately dropped to 
oh, I think it was down 300 in the S&P and down about 45 or 50, uh, excuse me, down 300 in the Dow, down about 45 or 50 in the S&P, 200 in the NASDAQ. And then all of a sudden, the aftershocks that happened last night were able to take all the bricks that had fallen apart and put them right back to where they were. Unbelievable. They'd never seen this before happen in all of earthquake history. But that's the way it happens. So some days it's chicken salad. Some days it's chicken something else. It depends on how you mix it. Okay, now let's move on here to the gold market because we hit a very major number up here. Well, we came close. I think we've hit it. Let's see where we are. This is the ABCD move on the June gold from October low, October the 10th. We went up. That's a perfect ABCD. It measures to 23, uh, 29. Say 23, 29. The high was 23, uh, 25. It missed it by four dollars. And so far, looking at it intraday, just get it up and see. Here's one that you look at. We had the move down. The first thing you want to look for is to sell that 382 retracement, which would have been right here. And your stop has got to be above here. you got to risk $10 in gold. There's just no other way to get around it. So $10 in this would have put your stop right above the 786. And right now it's it's working a little bit. And if you looked at this on a short-term basis, this is what's really – I watched this last night because it was rather funny. The last major low we had, this was the last correction, the big correction, went from 97, dropped $27. That was our last big correction. Watch today's low, folks, if you like that old 382 number. There it was right there, right there within $2 of the exact 382. So this is the game plan right now. There's a chance we can go up and, and make another high. There's absolutely that possibility, but that's not in the cards as of yet. So this is what we're watching here in the uh, June gold. Now we're going to stay with the metals for just a minute because we've had several people ask about it. This one is quite interesting right here. This is the uh, daily chart of copper going back a long way. Now, you see, we haven't taken out the highs of January 23. That's when the stock market topped, okay? Now, all we've done today was we've taken that whole range right here, this whole range between October and December, multiplied by 1.618, and that takes you to 426. So far, that has been the exact high. We're still trading at 424. Who says it can't go a whole lot higher? The fact that it hit this number, and there's a gap right here. This is really what's unusual. We have that small gap, and you just don't see a gap on a copper chart. This is a very heavy – well, actually, they filled the gap on the new data. Okay, sorry. There was not a gap. You can see the range today, but that's that's what's happening right now. It looks like a gap, but that little tiny bit was uh, not covered. So we could easily go higher in the uh, copper a little bit, and that's not unusual too, but we're right at the 1.618 level. That should be uh, quite interesting as we come up to some of these things here. See how much we got, 50 seconds to go in the, before the uh, end of the period here. We've got Stan Harley today, tomorrow we've got Norm Winsky, but today folks, a very important day, the Sycamores of Terre Haute, Indiana, Indiana State University, the Fighting Trees are going to be playing Seton Hall Pirates for the NIT Championship. And that's going to be a lot of fun. I have $5 on the winning team. I put $5 on each team to make sure I'd have a winner. Let's take a break. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. 
educating investors. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the Dow Jones E-mini up here, and as you can see, it did make a 382 retracement today. Uh, remember, the NASDAQ went above the 786. The S&P almost made the 786, but the Dow Jones being only 30 stocks, actually it's only 15 when you consider the triple-digit ones. That's all it's done right here. It hasn't gone very much to the downside. It had a 200-point break after the high was made, but it didn't do very much. If we looked at that from a technical standpoint, and took from the low up to the high, you'll see that the bottom was right near the 382, so it really hasn't gone down very much. So if it starts getting above here, we could be looking at a potential new high in stocks, which is certainly possible. Okay, now next one we want to take a look at, it will, a quick one here on the, you can see here's the Russell at the 50% level right here, so that, that takes care of that. And then I need to cover the uh, other one that's really super important here, which is silver. Silver has really had a heck of a run here, folks. You have to really respect the 382 when you look at silver. My goodness, there's where it is right now. This is a long-term weekly. Now, we haven't quite taken this out. This has missed it by about four cents, but we're very close to the 78% level. We have a triple, excuse me, a double ABCD pattern in here. There's your ABCD right here, and we have another ABCD right here. And that comes in at uh, 27.57. It's now trading at 27.24. We'll look at it on a short-term basis just to see we came back pretty good. There was the move down. Okay, so far that move down was 50% off of this low right here. And I don't think it was even close. No, it was, yeah, here it was 50% retracement off of this low. But that was a pretty good pretty good break we actually broke from uh from 40 all the way down we dropped 50 cents in silver which is basically a drop in the bucket when you're moving as much as you have going right now so it, it's very interesting we did make that smaller abcd pattern on silver uh today you can see that when excuse me yesterday at the 27 uh 2737 and the high has been 2744 but this could easily go higher because we're we're still going higher you can see just a little bit of the action we've had today this is nothing more than a, another small 
uh, well, not quite a 382. It misses it by about a penny, so it doesn't look bearish from this uh, standpoint anyway as we're looking. But the one that's really, really takes everybody into consideration is this euro and the dollar index. And all I need to do is to bring up the dollar index first because here's we sent this video out last night. Uh, early last night at around two in the morning we were watching this move right here this was a daily move uh, 60 minutes so you can see the daily action there's your large a b c d to the top there's your three drives to a top pattern right here this is where we thought the, the euro was going to rally from which it is in fact done but we wa we warned you to take a look at what was happening here because the last correction we had was that far and so we were expecting it to come and see if it would hold the 382 and it did not you see it went right below it here we're not above it we were just hanging at there right now but the fact that it did go below that 382 could mean something now if we take a look at the euro because this is the one that we were watching on a daily basis there's the ABCD to the downside we'll, we'll do this on a four hour so we can see that the ABCD is on the way down easy enough and we'll see the 382 where we are right now just get this up here what I'm going to do here is to make it a little bit easier on everybody and hold on one second here and okay you can see we've been coming down A B C D A B C D and we have the big A B C D let's just draw that one in Yeah, and that takes you down to there. Then you've got another one. This is the one that brought you to the promised land. There you were right there. That was the last one. Okay. Now we've had a pretty good rally, haven't we? Okay. But, you know, I, I mentioned in this, I said, look, you've got to get this thing really strongly above this 106, at least the 107 level, before you can at least think it's a breakout. Because all you've done so far is rally back. To guess what, folks? Within how close is it? That's within uh, five, that's within three pips of the on a four hour chart of the exact 61 percent retracement from that move, and it is from this level it is setting right at 50 uh, percent oh, one probably now it's a little above the 50 percent so this is the moment of truth we're really not we really need to get the uh, euro above that 10 just about that 108 level. Uh, 107.80 or something like that, up about another 25 or 30 pips for it to break out. The thing to watch for, now we've had this really strong move here. So the thing to watch for, if, if this is starting to back off, and this is, sometimes you get these opportunities, you come in and take a look. First thing you'd want to be watching here, I do these live because this gives you something to think about. And you can also see how the numbers work. If it backs off down to this area, this would make this a really nice place now if this would take you know you don't always get you you don't always get your wishes but if we could get about three days let's say two or three days where it came right to here say down about 50 pips from where it is right now if you could get that holy moly guacamole you're going to have to love that one and let me show you why shoulder head shoulder that would be out to the 10th. Well, that's six days. I don't think it's going to do that. But if it does, I'm going to leave this on here to see if it does it. Because if we do that, you can have a perfect uh, head and shoulders pattern. There's your left shoulder. Your right shoulder is right here. Now, it can't get any lower than right there. You'd like to see it come in right here. So if it comes into the 50%, you're okay. If it comes to 618, not so good. So all we got to do now is we got to put this thing on the old limit minder right here for the 10th. And I believe the 10th is going to be over the weekend. Am I not correct? Why does that say the 10th is today? That cannot. Oh, that's next week. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Yeah, next Wednesday, a week from today. Uh, well, no, a week from yesterday. So we got to watch that right there. So that's one that you want to possibly get set up for. Because if it happens... It's going to be a really neat one. That's well, I think they're all neat, but you know me, I'm, I'm very, very uh, biased. Let me double check to make sure that I didn't uh, miss anything. I probably did. Did copper bean oil? Okay, the bean oil is still, uh, still acting okay. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, uh, someone asked me to take a look at the wheat market, and I'll be happy to do that. Ooh, if I have time, and I will have time. Just give me a second, and I'll get this up here. Wheat is acting really good, I believe. I 
I have a very strong feeling about these grains, but again, feelings only count in mumbly pegs and darts. So hold on one second. We'll get this up here. There's the uh, Christmas <clears throat> that I'm watching. So here's Christmas wheat. This thing just does not want to give up very much, folks. It's been in this mask consolidation here for 10 days. If we ever get above here, ever get above 620 in the December wheat, you do not want to be short because that thing has got a long way to go if it decides to go. Look what it's done so far since that big bottom we were looking at back in here. All we were able to do was to back off to a 382 retracement once, 382 retracement twice, 382 retracement three times. This thing's ready to break out. If you get above 621 in that December wheat, you, it's, it's going to go higher. This is strong consolidation, folks. This, that's uh, that's two weeks of consolidation. There's nothing wrong with this stock. They're all higher bottoms. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. It's the 22nd anniversary of the Gold Report. Can you believe it? We've taken 22 trips around the sun together, and we have many more to come. This year alone, the Gold Report has returned over 50%, and I want you to come along for the ride. I provide in-depth analysis of the gold market as a whole, in addition to providing outlooks on individual mining equities. For a limited time, you can save 35% off the monthly price for as long as you subscribe. 35% savings will be applied to the current monthly price, and it will stay with your subscription forever. With gold pushing all-time highs, gold equities trading higher, and inflation still raging, this is a great time to try my newsletter, The Gold Report. First-time subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Just enter promo code 22 years at checkout, and you'll see the 35% savings applied to your subscription price, and this deal will stay with your subscription for as long as you subscribe. Don't forget, just enter promo code 22 years at checkout. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Okay, back, folks, we'll have a little bit of technical difficulties here today, and uh, I want to uh, cover uh, natural gas. First, we'll take a look at the uh, long-term picture, the daily. Larry, are you able see, to hear me? Hey, Mr. Harley is in the house. Thank goodness, okay. thank goodness, thank goodness. Let me double-check to see if we can have his uh, – there, we're in good shape now, my friend. It's uh, all ready to go. Please continue, and we're all ready to listen to what you have to say, my friend. Well, uh, thank you, thank you. Um, had a little techni technical uh, challenges uh, at the outset, but uh, we're good to go here. <laughs> I do uh, that every day, Stan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, hey, I thought we'd uh, talk about something different today, like the stock market. Okay. Um, okay. So, uh, in keeping with my theme, I think uh, I think we're in the ninth inning here of a, a bull market that has lasted for, geez, since 1932. I think we are uh, approaching a secular market peak. Not today, not tomorrow, not this week, not not uh, anytime imminently soon. But I think uh, towards the end of the year, like uh, this November, might be a good time to be looking for what could be a major, major market peak. Um, November. November. So how do how do I come about all that? Well, we've we've talked in the past. I've shown some of my long term work going back to 1602, and I'll do that again in a future talk we have here on the air. Here is a weekly chart going back uh, to the early 1980s, and uh, you and the readers I know are are I'm sure aware of my fondness for Fibonacci and all things Lucas. Uh, well, as it turns out, all of the dominant peaks on the uh, chart for the stock market, on the weekly chart, well, indeed, on the monthly as well, uh, can be defined by the Lucas number series, and they're times two multiple, every single one. So it turns out the spacing between the highs is a, uh, a Lucas number multiplied by two, every single one. Uh, so, for example, from the 2000 high in, uh, in March of that year into the uh, October 07 high, um, that was just four months shy of 398 weeks, which happens to be, in case you forget, I've got the table over here, Lucas 199 times uh, times two. Uh, the next uh, sequence between the 2007 high and the 2015 high, again, about 398 weeks, Lucas 199. Uh, in the DeFeb 2020 high, that was approximately 246 weeks, which is Lucas 123 times two, and so on. And uh, the next double count in the Lucas series uh, from the January 2022 high and a clustering from the Feb 2020 high clusters this November. So to this point, every single high has been defined on the weekly charts by a doubling of the Lucas count. Now, does it necessarily have to happen again? No, it doesn't. Wow. At some point, Stan, this, yes. that cannot that cannot be a coincidence. Uh, it, not, well, going, not going back that far. No, no, it's it, it's not a coincidence. No, it's it's math. It's Fibonacci, Lucas. These numbers, I believe. I'm an aerospace engineer by training. They're simply a formula to define what the unknowing might think would be think would be randomness in nature. It's not random. There is math. There is order here, and what I'm showing here on the screen. Is the is, is is that it's the math it's the order that defines uh, how uh, market highs and lows are made. Uh, wow. So between now and November, we got lots of bull market ahead of us. Um, here is a another weekly chart scrunched down a little bit uh, over the last uh, oh six years from 2018 through the present, and what I show here are all the dominant troughs, low points on the weekly chart. I've drawn there with. Purple, purple vertical lines, and they are separated by a time span of uh, approximately 34 weeks. Now, that's a cycle that expands and contracts. Uh, sometimes it's a little less, sometimes it's a little bit more. But when uh, one analyzes this over the long haul, puts the data into a spreadsheet, does it Hey, ring the bell. Absolutely. Somebody, somebody <laughs> has a question coming in from the den. Let's see what it is. Hold on one second here. Well, uh, assuming the pattern continues, and I understand we have a question. Oh, wait, wait um, one second, Stan. You're, they're they're saying that your sc your screen is not coming through on Skype. Could you? Um, oh my uh, gosh. 
Yeah, well, that, that's what we call technical difficulties, which are my specialty. By the way, we had a question from one of our listeners okay. here in the den. You were aerospace engineer. You weren't by any chance the gentleman that worked on the uh, the doors for Boeing, were you? <laughs> um, <no. laughs> I had to bring that up, Bubba. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't think you hey, ever. They're, they're, they are. Been 40 years since you've been an engineer, haven't it? I mean, you've been well, doing this for I, so long. Yeah, I left North uh I left Northrop Grumman in uh, 1993. Wow, so, it's been 30 years. Holy cow. I, I can't do that math. you you, you got to do that yeah. for me. I'm, you're better than I am. Uh, well, well, shucks if the uh, charts aren't coming through. That's disconcerting. Oh, boy. Uh, well, we're, they're going to they're gonna reconnect here in just a second, and uh, we'll see. Uh, he, uh, here's what they're asking you to do is to close Skype okay. and then uh, keep your screen share running. Oh no 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 don't don't close it yet now they're giving me another he's gonna I'm, I'm reading these uh, uh, I think don't read these out loud okay <laughs> I whisper <laughs> this is a real challenge for me this technical uh, stuff I don't know I really don't know what to do well <laughs> what we can do well I, I have a, a during the break I could well know if I disconnect then ooh, that won't work um, well, I don't know. I'll we'll we'll figure it out. Well, I'll just talk it through. How about that? I'm, I I got a yeah. different. Um, yeah. The the intermediate cycle that I'm talking about that people can't see. Um, the last occurrence of that cycle was on October 27th, 2023, and we've had a, just a ramrod uh, move to the upside from that low. Oh it, boy, it, have we ever! It is due again right around June 21st, 24th right around the summer solstice. Um, and of course, before we get to a low, we have to get to a high in that cycle. And uh, so far we are uh, experiencing right translation, meaning the high so far is well to the right of the midpoint of that cycle. Well, that's what you would expect in a bull market environment. I think the high in this 34 week cycle occurs in mid-May. So what is that? We have about another five weeks of upside chug a And then we'll probably get uh, the most important decline of the year between about mid-May and late June. And uh, that'll be a good time to uh, uh, take a look at uh, okay. your portfolio and your, your charts uh, and get set up for the next run. And then right around the summer solstice, give or take a day or two or three, uh, I would expect the market will regroup. We will have worked off the overbought conditions and, and get set up for the next move higher. And Larry, I think the back half of the year is going to be ramrod to the upside, even more than what we've seen in the first half of the year. Holy moly, guacamole. Stan, we're going to take a break here to pay some bills, and hopefully we'll get this thing straightened out. So we'll see you live, okay? Okay, I'll work on it. Give us a couple of, we have three minutes here. We'll see if we can get it fixed. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. 
Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're okay, back, we're back folks. folks. We see, we see Stan, Stan in, in the room. room. Why, Why is there an there? echo? I don't know. I'm getting an echo as well on my, on my connection. It just started during the break. Don't know what's going on. Uh, technical, technical difficulties. difficulties. Uh, let's, uh, see, let's if see if you can put, you your, put screens your screens, your screens up. up. Uh, okay. Stand I'm going to shut, gonna shut up. up. I'm going to try again to share my screen and uh, see oh, if this oh. works. Are you Plastic able to see? Oh, okay. Very good. Aha. And I can see you on my other screen. So uh, it looks like we're coming through here. Um, got it. This is a, a topic I thought I would uh, bring to light some research I've been doing. There, there are essentially two measurement ratios out there. Uh, one of them, of course, is well known, the golden ratio based on Fibonacci relationships and, and of course, Lucas relationships. There is another mathematical ratio, not so widely known, not so well understood, but it's called the plastic ratio, discovered by a Dutch mathematician about 100 years ago. Uh, and in, it, this, is, this is its simplest form, uh, the, the Greek letter rho, that's not a P, that's rho, uh, is equal to 1.32. It's roughly four thirds. So what does that mean? Well, uh, it means there is a series of expansion in neighbor, nature on the order of about 1.3. And I see it a lot in nature, and I see it a lot in the markets. So let's look at some charts. Uh, well, before that, these are the, the so-called Padovan numbers, somewhat similar to Fibonacci. But the difference is when you take the successive numbers in the Padovan series, add them together, you don't get the third one, you get the fourth one. So in Fibonacci, you'd have one and one is two and so on. Well, with the Padovan sequence, you have one and one is two, um, one and three is three, so you skip the one in between. So you add two numbers together in succession and then you get the subsequent one after skipping one. Uh, and those, when you divide them out, truncate to 1.32. Um, and then I've done some algebraic manipulation of the, of the plastic ratio. And these are the ratios that I get. And then when I plot them on the charts, um, it presents some very, very interesting information. Um, let's take a look at the gold charts. Um, these vertical lines are not spaced by Fibonacci relationships. They are spaced by the plastic ratio. So what I've done is I've put all of the highs in going back to 2020 and put the dates into a spreadsheet. And uh, it does a dandy of a job of defining the high to high sequence. Uh, indeed, there's a standard deviation here of only 1.03 weeks, which is very, very low. 
as, as you can see, there's the standard deviation. And it's suggesting uh, the current week might be ripe for a potential reversal. Doesn't mean it has to happen, but assuming the uh, plastic ratio sequence continues, we need to be on alert for a potential high in the metals market. Uh, we've got gold, of course, breaking out to new highs, but um, take a look at the divergences. Not so silver, not so palladium, not so platinum. Uh, in a measured move, I want to see all components, or most certainly most of the components of the precious metals complex, just like with the stock market, moving up or down, uh, or going to new highs or going to new lows. But when we don't, we have divergences, and that that usually is most important at the final turn. Uh, so my takeaway uh, here is um, metals are ripe for a pivotal high. We just need to see it need, need to see it develop, uh, and then. Here is a chart that I've, I've shown before, uh, updated. The, uh, the monthly chart going back to 1970 has reflected a trough to trough sequence of 94 months. Uh, every low, every standout low um, is spaced by an interval of 94 months plus or minus eight. A 94 is Lucas 47 times two. Uh, and it's due once again uh, in the latter part of May. So I suspect we're going to see a high develop here shortly in metals, and then we're going to get a short but sharp decline to make uh, the next low sometime in May. Or it could push out a little bit further to the right in time, but uh, we need to see this 94-month cycle low in gold develop before I think we're going to get any significant and sustained push to the upside. Stan? Stan? Uh, yes. We have been, have been friends for a very long, long time, and I want to make, make a statement, statement here. here. Okay. Okay. You will you never have, have to worry, to worry about, about anyone saying that, that I stole, you stole this stuff, stuff from me. From me. Okay. <laughs> it's so it's far so away. I pay great. It's, it's, it's really, really quite exciting to see these. I've never heard of this number starting. Pavadin, is that what it's called? Yes. Yes. A German mathematician. Oh, I thought that was the guy that was a San Francisco gunfighter. Pavadin will travel. Oh, that was Paladin. That was a different dude. Okay. Paladin has gun will travel. Yeah, you and I remember that. Nobody else listening does, but you and I do. Well, no, there's a few people out there near our age, but they're in nursing homes and they gather they gather up as a group. So we're okay. That's really exciting. I've never heard of that. I've never I've seen a lot of different ratios, but never that one. That's that's really an exciting one. Um, if we run out of time, ring the bell. You, let me know. Uh, but no, I'll you just keep going. We're doing great. Doing great. Uh, here is uh, here is Mr. Bitcoin, and uh, a couple of things here. All things Lucas. Again, every um, this is the monthly chart of, uh, of uh, Bitcoin. It's a log chart, of course, to make it more easily readable. Every single high, every single one, can be defined by the Lucas number series or its times two multiple. Uh, so as measured from the first high that we saw in Bitcoin in, in June of 2011. So mm -hmm. I put the zero line there and then count to the right in time, 22 months, which is Lucas 11 times two, Lucas 29 months, and so on. And the next number in the sequence is Lucas 76 times two, 152. So when I add 152 months to June 2011, it lines up with April 2024. Oh boy! Hello. That's where we are. When right is now. that? that oh, that's, that's right, right now. now. Wow. That's that's gonna be, good. There's a yeah, lot of people. I'll tell you, Stan. When I look at these Bitcoin people, people and, and, and some and one of my friends shares me the dialogue, dialogue that goes, goes on with some of these folks. folks. Uh, well, this this sequence historically can be plus or minus two months. Uh, so what I'm saying is the, the the numbers, the math is suggestive of the present time frame plus or minus two months for what I think could be an important high in Bitcoin. Uh, well, let's let's drill it down here uh, to the daily chart and let's slap on our friend uh, plastic ratio and look what I found here. All of these purple lines, line the major highs in Bitcoin, the major lows, all line up within four to five calendar days of, uh, of a perfect uh, plastic ratio sequence. And wow. uh, people can take a screenshot of this if, if they have an interest and go back and study it. Uh, but I put all the dates into a spreadsheet, turn the crank, and it says, you're looking for about April 13th, plus or minus. Shut the front door. Time. 
Holy cow. Stan, thanks for joining us, buddy. This is really great stuff. I really appreciate it. Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter, 805-558-3590. That's his phone number. Anyway, folks, thank you very much for joining us with Stan. Stay tuned. we got a little wrap-up here. And then tomorrow's guest will be Norman Calls It to the Minute Winsky. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, this is a eight-minute chart of crude oil, one of the most actively traded things in the world, and we're just going to look at it on a little bit of a scale. We'll just draw in the first pattern right here we'll call this x a b c d and that one takes you right to there and then we have another one that is right here and we'll draw that one in and you take that one up and that takes you right down to here okay there's a bunch of little ones in here but these are the main ones that were right here now this is a classic three drive to a bottom pattern because you can see drive one drive two and drive three and we are getting a very substantial rally as a matter of fact we are approaching, let's get this over here a little bit, the highs that we made here on the second, third, excuse me, the third. We're already a bow. We're right at the 786 retracement as we speak right now. The reason why you shouldn't sell this is there's not an ABC here in, in this all the way. And with this power coming through here, it's telling you that, uh, you know, this could be a really big one. Remember, looking at this on the daily basis, we are near Breakout City, getting up here to 86.68, which is not very far away. So let's keep a close eye on that one. I want to make sure that I 
have the old uh, thing. That's another dollar, dollar something a barrel looking at it. So anyway, that's what we're watching here today. Remember, tomorrow we're going to have Norm Winsky uh, as our guest uh, as from Terre Haute, Indiana. Of course, he's actually from Franklin, Indiana, but he went to school at Indiana State, as I did, along with Indiana University, Purdue University, and I had some classes at Northwestern University. Uh, I, I don't count the medical school classes because I wasn't there long enough to even count. I was only in medical school for six weeks. Boy, did my mother get mad at me. Oh, my God, I can still hear screaming at me. Anyway, that's what we're looking at today, folks. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless, and we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Hi, folks.